Hey everyone, it's Natalie. So the other day I got a request to do my foundation routine. And since I have to do my foundation today, I thought I would just film it as I do it. So I have one routine that I do generally when I want my makeup to last for a while. And then I just have other different ways if I want to, you know, just kind of cover up some blemishes and go out the door. So this is going to be the one if I want it to last for a while. So the first thing I'm going to take is going to be my moisturizer, and I keep mine in a little container like this. Container's all dirty. This was one of the e.l.f. containers for the makeup remover pads, but I use those up and I clean this out real good, and now I put more moisturizer in it so that I can use it to uh, travel. So this is just the Cetaphil moisturizer, and it has SPF 15 in it. So just go ahead and put that all over your face. Make sure you get it everywhere, on your cheeks on your nose, on your forehead, you know, just right around your eyebrows, and just blend it in, you know, really good. So I forget to mention, I've already done my eyebrows, uh, my eyebrow tutorial I have, I'll leave the link down below for you. I do my eyebrows with uh, powder, like eyeshadow powder, and so if in case I mess up, you know, I accidentally put powder here or something, I can just wipe it away if I'm not wearing any foundation or anything. So that is why I do my uh, foundation after my eyebrows. Sometimes I even do it after my makeup in case I have any fallout from the eyeshadow. It's just easier for me that way. So the next thing we're going to do is take primer. This is going to be the Hard Candy Sheer MB primer. And just take a little bit of that. I'm going to take like that much. So just a little bit. And you're going to go ahead and put that all over your face kind of evenly distribute it. The next thing I'm going to do is just take my foundation. Today I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay and this is the normal dry skin formula. I have very dry skin. I think I've said that before in my videos. This one I love. It's actually very, very uh, close to my skin tone, which a lot of foundations aren't because my skin is very, very light. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of that on a sponge and like that. And so I first like to start off doing the top of my forehead. So I'm just going to go through the top and then right here and then the sides. And just kind of patting it in there. This one, at least for me, it seems to kind of set pretty quickly. So I like to work kind of fast with it. Make sure that you know you're evenly distributing the product, but I'm using Revlon Color Stay, but I'm just putting a really thin layer, so just kind of evening out my skin tone. I am going to put concealer on top of this, so I'm not worrying about really covering up anything. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit more, this time more than I had before, so now I'm taking about this much. And I just like to get the sponge and kind of do this to... Uh, make it more even that way it's not like kind of a goop when you put it on your face and then put pat some on this side pat some on this side and then just blend it out everywhere so i'm just doing it in a patting motion as i'm blending it out to kind of even the coverage everywhere then make sure that you're also dragging the color down so it blends into your neck this one uh it's pretty close to my skin tone like i said so i don't really have that much of a problem with it but if you're using one that's a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, because sometimes it's hard to find your color, then you definitely want to make sure you know that it blends into right here where your hairline is and it blends into your neck. So I dragged it down. You can also just go ahead and take your hand and make sure that it's all blended out right there. Then I'm going to take a little bit more, on just a tiny, tiny bit, and then I'm going to put it on my nose. After my foundation, before I set it or put any powder or anything on top of it, I like to take some concealer and kind of conceal the blemishes. So I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. I'm going to take this bottom part right here. This one's good. It's pretty close to my skin tone. And just anywhere that I have any blemishes, like right here. I have some areas that are a little bit darker right here. You guys may probably not even see these on me, but I do. <laughs> and just kind of pat and blend those in. Ok, 
I also have some over here. And then also right under my eyebrows, I have some areas where it's a little red, so I'm going to go ahead and try to cover those up. Or at least lighten them. Next I'm going to go ahead and take some setting powder. So this is Rummel Stay Matte. The label is gone. And this one is in transparent. And so I'm going to take this e.l.f. Total Face Brush that I just bought. I showed in my video with Chewy. And then I'm just going to kind of pat it right on top of the foundation. I don't want to brush it because I want to pat it first so that it's not going to leave any streaks on my face. And then once you've you know, patted all the powder all over your face, then you can go ahead and just brush off all the extra powder that's on your face. And so that's it. That's how it looks. That's how I do my foundation. And I just, you know, kind of like to even out my skin tone and cover up any blemishes. But as you can see, I still have my freckles everywhere and it still looks like it's skin. But it looks better than my skin would look by itself. <laughs> So if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Oh, I forgot to tell you what color I am in color stay. I am 110 Ivory. So that gives you an idea of how light I am. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. Alright, see you guys next time.